LA City Council members Hugo Soto Martinez and Nithya Raman were on hand today to help remove the signs. They say the no cruising and no U-turn signs were put up in the 1990s to prevent people in the gay community from meeting up with other gay people. I was also surprised that these um, <clears throat> these U-turn signs were still uh, up. And at first, you know, they seem a little. Um, oh, okay, it's just a no U-turn sign. But when you learn the history of it and you realize that these were used to profile gay people, it's so important that we have these removed. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know, I think we're done here. I think society has finished. Like, how much further can we go now? You know, I'm ready for the asteroid or something. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel, but this is next level clown world stuff. I can assure you of that one, and I think a lot of you would have heard about it because of how insane it is. But news broke recently coming out of LA, California. When you hear California is involved, should you really be surprised? Absolutely not. But they have now discovered that no U-turn signs are anti-gay. Yeah, now it's no U-turn signs triggering people. So they decided to take them down. They couldn't bear to look at them any longer. We must take... Now, before we get into it, and what I would like you guys to do is, you know, to make my time worth it, you know, make me sacrificing my brain cells worth something, uh, leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video, comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below, and the LA Times have kindly reported on the whole thing. Silver Lake removes last traffic signs of its anti-gay past. At first glance, the signs are innocuous, simply directing traffic on the road. But long-time queer residents of Silver Lake knew they were a symbol of the neighborhood's darker past. Messages like no cruising, no U-turns, midnight to 6 a.m. were posted around the neighborhood in 1997, with the intent to curb gay men from roaming the streets to hook up. For years, the signs remained, even as the city's leadership changed and the community grew, until this week. Wow. In a celebration with LGBTQ plus community members. Whoa, hold on a second here. Hold on a second. No, 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 no. We can't be having that. How many letters did they miss off there? That is discrimination. That is bigotry. You need to sort this out. In a celebration with the LGBTQ plus community members, District 4 Council Member Nitya Rahman and District 13 Council Member Hugo Soto Martinez retired the signs on Monday. Yeah, I think something else needs to retire. Los Angeles has a rich history of welcoming the LGBTQIA plus community, but there has also been real and present homophobia, which at times has been inscribed into the city's physical spaces. As with these no U-turn signs, Rahman said in a statement, apparently in the late 90s, when the internet was new and gay dating apps such as Grindr did not exist, queer men sometimes relied on printed guidebooks that listed public areas where they could find love, so, yep, and community without outing themselves. And this is the funny part here, I couldn't believe this. I was unaware of those signs and never would have found them, said Pickle, West Hollywood's inaugural drag queen Laurie. <laughs> who performed at the removal ceremony. Wow. The signs were an insidious form of discrimination that he and others simply didn't have any context for, Pickles said. So some of the people there didn't even know that these signs allegedly represented something uh, anti-gay, yet now they're all offended by them. So this is just a classic representation of people being offended by something because they're now told to be offended by it. You know, these people would have lived around there, walked around there, and not even care, but now someone pointed it out, oh, we must take these signs down, it must happen. Yeah, that's the next step in fighting the discrimination, the bigotry, uh, taking down no U-turn signs, because apparently, you know, people at the time uh, didn't want gay men cruising around, among other things, and then hooking up potentially with other men in the area. Uh, I think we can all sit here and say, uh, times have certainly changed. Sometimes I wonder what the old me say, he'd probably say that everything is gay. It's almost like they've run out of things to get offended over. I think, well, what can we change today? Um, but did you hear about there's no U-turn signs? Apparently they did, but, but let's take them down. <coughs> I'm running out of words for this one, I really am. But we have a video from one of the individuals uh, that was involved taking down these signs and they have... Well, an interesting, great name. You all saw it in the beginning of the video. Libs of TikTok goes on to post. This is maybe a girl. Yes, that's his actual name. It's too early for this, it's too early. But they're a drag queen who is on the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council. He just passed a resolution to remove U-turn signs because they were homophobic. You can't make this stuff up. Literally beyond parody. Yeah, I think my brain cells are 
getting erased by the second, but I think it's only right, ladies and gentlemen, we take a look at this video. I'll see you in a few minutes. If you can last that long watching the video. <laughs> I don't blame you if you click off. No U-turn signs are homophobic in Silver Lake, and here's why. Hey everybody, it's Maybe. Uh, so a couple of days ago, I posted a video on TikTok and on Instagram that was detailing the removal of the last no U-turn signs associated with the no cruising ordinance here in Los Angeles and claimed it as an anti-LGBTQIA issue. Uh, and folks were asking, how can a no U-turn sign be homophobic? How is that anti-LGBTQIA? Of course, the homophobes, the transphobes came out en masse and we're saying, yo, this is just a no U-turn sign. Now making a U-turn is homophobic. Well, I'm here to give you a little history lesson about why the no U-turn signs in Silver Lake actually are homophobic. So this story goes back to 1988. Uh, July 27th, 1988, a story came out in the LA Times. It was actually my second birthday. This was almost 36 years ago. And it uh, detailed how cruising had been outlawed here in Los Angeles. Now cruising in that particular context referred to low riding, uh, street riding in, uh, in neighborhoods, on streets, back and forth. And it was specifically used to target the Latino community. However, this law, this ordinance was actually also used to target and profile gay people here in Silver Lake. So in 1997, let's fast forward a little bit, uh, almost 10 years later, LA Times puts out another article detailing how neighbors on Griffith Park Boulevard are fed up with gay men cruising in the area for gay And so signs were installed, no cruising signs and no U-turn signs between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. all along Griffith Park Boulevard. So how is this homophobic? So essentially, uh, these signs were used, this, per this particular ordinance was used to profile gay men who LAPD perceived to be seeking gay in the area. Now, Silver Lake is a very queer neighborhood. It's been a queer neighborhood since at least the 1950s. Many of you know about the, uh, the Black Cat demonstrations that happened in 1967, which actually predated Stonewall. Fast forward to the 1990s and Silver Lake is still a queer hub. There were a number of gay bars in the area and there was uh, at least one gay bar pretty close to where Griffith Park Boulevard is. Now Griffith Park Boulevard is a residential street. Uh, it's a side street. It is a very wide street and it's generally low traffic except for rush hours. So early in the morning when people are going to work, late in the afternoon when people are coming home from work. So if no U-turns were a traffic safety issue, don't you think that the no U-turn signs would just be there generally? Why would the sign specifically say between midnight and 6 a.m.? So let's fast forward to 1997. This is when the no cruising signs uh, were actually installed and the no U-turn signs were installed. Uh, here is a clip from a, an article from the LA Times, which details that these signs were specifically used to profile and discriminate against the LGBTQIA community, specifically gay men in the area that LAPD perceived to be seeking out gay so uh, fast forward again to 2011, the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council, which I'm now a member of. I've been on the Neighborhood Council since 2019. At the time in 2011, the Neighborhood Council voted to try to get rid of these no cruising signs because they were a relic of the past as they're specifically targeting gay people. And the no cruising signs themselves were actually removed. What remained were the no U-turn signs between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. And those stayed until just earlier this week in 2024. So finally, uh, the last remnants of them were removed. So I co-chair our Reimagining Public Safety Committee. I co-authored the letter that was approved by the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council that was in support of removing the rest of the signs. So one thing we can uh, clarify here is maybe a go is definitely a guy but this is what people spend their time doing this is what people get up to in their day-to-day -day lives it's kind of worrying isn't it yeah taking down no u-turn signs because now they're so offensive and triggering uh, because they represent a, a darker time a darker past 
in the neighborhood. Look, we're in a very different time now. Nobody cares, as I said, what people get up to in the bedroom. Nobody cares who people sleep with, whatever. So taking down these signs, it just seems like they needed something else to get offended over. You know, we need to take everything down that could offend us now. Even though nobody cares, we have to take these things down because as we walk past these no U-turn signs, uh, we, we just get so emotional. Even though, again, as somebody said in that article, the uh, drag queen, I believe, they didn't even know about them. Let's just reflect for a second. Okay, deep reflection. This is what people are discussing. This is what people are debating. No U-turn signs being removed because of whatever. Is Western civilization just not becoming a total joke? Like, and you have to think, you know, in some time in the future, who knows what's going to happen. These could be the people potentially on the front lines with us. You know, if we're all standing in a straight line, they'll probably get offended and, you know, they'll stop the war. Everybody must stop fighting. Hey, guys, we all can't stand in a straight line because this represents heterosexuality and that's just so offensive. So can we just muddle? You know, you think about all the issues going on today, whether it be in America, the UK, uh, California, especially. Right? Think about all the issues that need fixing there. This is what they're prioritizing. And people wonder why things, <laughs> things don't get better. You know, we have to fix the non-existent issues first and then make our way towards the most important issues. But because there are so many non-existent issues that really don't need any attention, the big ones never get sorted. Instead of wasting their time, wasting all the energy, taking down these signs in LA, why don't you fix, you know, the homelessness going on in California? Other things, the crime. Oh, that's not important. But taking down... No U-turn signs because they're homophobic or anti-gay is the most important thing. I think the most important thing for me is to, you know, move to another planet. Leave your thoughts down below, ladies and gentlemen, on this story. As you can tell, I'm very enthusiastic to talk about it. It's what you want to wake up to. Uh, I'd like to know how you guys feel. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video. Follow my socials down below in the description, Instagram, Twitter. They're all there. But until next time, it has been your boy JD if I wake up tomorrow because yeah, I don't think I can last that much longer with all the cells I'm losing in my brain. Make sure to have a great day. I'm out. <laughs> Peace.